What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler. You guys also know me as the Geocracker Collector. And today we are going to be using my six inch cab king and we're going to be doing a little bit of polishing. Now the material we're going to be polishing today, I've never polished on my channel before. Um, I have polished one piece, which you guys will see in just a moment. But other than that, I haven't really worked with this material a whole lot before. I've had it for quite some time, well over a year I purchased this. So if you guys are familiar with this, channel familiar with my work you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as you see these things or you just read the title which is another option but we're gonna be checking these things out right now all right so here we are over by the cap King these are some of the pieces that we're gonna be picking from um, we're not gonna be polishing all of these here but I just wanted to show you this is everything that I've got as far as this material and if you didn't know yet guys this is this fire opal in host rock and this is coming from Mexico so this right here is the one piece that I have polished. So you can see this post rock really takes a nice polish. And there we go with the opal. So we've got a little bit of fire opal there, it looks like. And then we've got some right here that's got some flash. So this piece is unfortunately fractured. So it's kind of skewing the way it looks in there, but how freaking gorgeous is that stuff? It looks like the Aurora Borealis inside of there. So. We've got a handful of pieces here. Um, some of them are a little bit nicer, like this one. We are definitely going to polish up that one. And then some of them are just kind of little itty bitty streaks and not really a whole lot going on. So some of them we aren't really going to do anything with just yet. And then some of them we are going to polish. So I would like to pick out, let's say, six pieces, at least six pieces for us to polish. So, like I said, we've got this guy right up here that'll be one um, I really want to polish this one because you can see some subtle flash underneath there this isn't like clear opal but we do have some flash so I want to try and get all that grinded down nice and see what's going on under that uh, we've got this piece here which has got a whole bunch of that orange fire opal looking stuff hmm oh yeah we do have a little bit of flash hiding in there yep there we go, we got number three. This is the one that when I purchased this lot of opals, this one got me most excited. I think we'll do that one as well. It's got some really nice blues and greens in that. Maybe we'll just try and get that one down to just the opal. This material is super, super soft. Um, nothing compared to the, uh, the first wheel. I don't even think we'll do much with that first wheel to be quite honest i think we're going to polish that one too because that white there has got some flash in it there we go number five so yeah like i was saying most of the polishing that we are going to do on these will take place it is uh two o'clock in the afternoon two o'clock guys put your fireworks away and let's do this one got some nice flash underneath there we'll see what we uh what we can come up with so we're gonna get those ones put away and we're gonna get started on doing a little bit of polishing all right so like i said for majority of these we're going to be starting off um, on this wheel because this first wheel, the 80 grit, is just super, super, it just eats it away, eats it up so quick. Um, so, I mean, we might use that just a tad bit to, uh, to kind of speed things up um, some, but other than that, we're just gonna, we're gonna get right into it. Got my pump is on. So I'm just kind of show you guys really quick what I mean about how quick it eats this material up. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. this 
first one just to kind of help us get rid of some of this post rock. On to the next stage we did a lot of our shaping in that first one as we can see a lot of these are completely different than uh, what we started off with but we're gonna move on to stage number two
and that's going to wrap it up for that stage. Move on to the first of the smoothing pads. Like I said, it's not going to really take a whole lot on this stage. Don't want to overdo it because this material is really, really soft. So even these next, even the next stage at least, we'll be able to uh, manipulate the actual overall shape. Most of the time, depending on the hardness of the material, once you move past this wheel, you really don't have much uh, capabilities on the, the remaining three wheels to uh, to manipulate the shape of the piece that you're working on. So we are all finished up with the first three wheels on the six inch cab king. We are getting ready to move on to the second half of the machine. Now this half going forward is going to go a lot quicker um, since majority of the focus on the first half of the machine is to do a lot of the shaping or all of the shaping. And um, so now here on out is just going to be pretty quick. So that being said if you're watching the video and you've made it this far i hope you are enjoying so far if you are new to the channel i hope you consider subscribing and ringing that bell to stay notified on future updates because i've got a lot of awesome stuff coming to the channel but let's get right back into getting this stuff polished up Thank you. 
All right, and we are moving on to the final stage that we're gonna go through. Now, I do have the option to uh, add a side attachment and uh, we can use the polishing paste, but we are not going to do that today. We're just going to finish up these, oh, if I can get it to focus, these beautiful, beautiful opals. And uh, we're gonna get them outside and we're gonna check them out. So we're gonna get right back into it. So we have got things all finished up. We are gonna head outside really quick. We are gonna peek at these in the sunlight and then we're gonna be right back in here and we're gonna check them out underneath this light as well. So I will see you guys outside in just a second. Alrighty, we are outside. We've got lots of sunlight and we are ready to check these things out. So we're just gonna do them one at a time. And some really pretty blues, just solid blue color inside of there. And you got some flash that comes in. Really, really pretty. Kind of looks like a fish or like a whale. Really, really pretty. All right. Let's see which one we pull out next. All right. So this one is the one that kind of was just the plain white opal, but it did have some flash to it. So we got it down to a nice little cabochon. We did 
did lose a fair amount of that opal, but you can see there's still some flash and color play going on inside of there. A little harder to see because it's not clear, but there's definitely some flash. Really, really pretty. This stuff takes such a nice polish. Even the host rock. Just beautiful, beautiful polish. Alright, next up we've got this guy, which I ended up making a flat bottom on it so we can stand it up, make it a little bit of a display piece. We got some really pretty fire opal in a couple spots back here. A couple little windows with some opal, not very much flash inside of those, but the face is really, really pretty. And this camera unfortunately doesn't quite do it justice inside of there with the sparkle pattern that's in that opal is really really crazy you kind of see it from this way we will uh, kind of wrap things up inside in uh, a different lighting and see if we can't uh, see some different colors hiding inside of here but it's really really pretty we got regular opal and down here is fire opal love that mix super super nice and another piece of just a very pretty polish. All right, and then we've got this guy right here. This one I planned to just kind of polish down just to get to that opal, because it's got really beautiful greens and blues in it. So I wanted just to try and get that, because it was a decent little chunk there, but then we stumbled upon this fire opal back here so we just kind of had to make a little like chickpea kind of shape there we go we see that blue in this angle we kind of change it around we get to see that green so so beautiful oh i love it all right so we have two pieces left and i'm really excited to show you guys these ones i think came out really really nice so this one was a big gnarly nasty looking piece and uh we got it to a decent little shape it kind of looks like a heart just kind of broken a little bit missing a piece which is really fitting because this opal has some really pretty pinks and reds and stuff in it so pleasantly surprised so this whole face looked like this kind of blackish crusty looking stuff so very nice to polish it down and find all that hiding underneath so that one i thought came out really nice took a very nice polish even the host rock is really pretty i love the layers into it but the last one this one was my favorite this one came out really well so this one had a nice big chunk of that fire opal so i did my best to make it kind of look like a, a flame and the inclusions in this thing are nuts. The colors, it's everything about it. It's absolutely bonkers. This whole big chunk down there is an opal. Just came out really, really nice. Very proud of that one. Compared to what it started off as to this, that was pretty darn nice. So we're gonna head into the garage and we're gonna wrap things up and we're gonna take a look at these under some different lighting and see if we can see those colors a little bit better well all right so those things were absolutely gorgeous outside in that sunlight so we're going to take a quick peek at them underneath uh the studio light here while we wrap things up but these things came out really really beautifully now there are some imperfections inside the opal itself but just the amount of opal we would have to grind down to get rid of that little divot there wasn't worth it in my opinion and it's still really really beautiful that's the little whale little whale piece even the inclusions inside of that one are really really beautiful <clears throat> we're just going to start off with the smaller ones and go up to the bigger ones so this is the one that has a really really pretty blues and greens inside of it and we have that little fire opal hanging out in the back so I don't know if that's the flash of fire opal or if that's just from the fractures inside of it. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm not super familiar with opals. 
Uh, as you guys know, this is my first time really working with them. Oh, look at that. We get some of the blue and green in this lighting. That's really cool. That's why I thought it might be a little bit different because here we've got two different light sources. So, all right, and we're gonna check this guy out next. This one is really, really pretty. Like I said, we do have some flash hiding inside of there, but just the host rock and everything about it, it just took such a beautiful, beautiful polish. It's so smooth. Really, really enjoy that one. Then we get to my favorite three. Starting off with this guy right here. Really, really awesome, like, speckled pattern in the opal inside of there. I know it's a little hard to see. You can kind of see it in this light. And then just that bottom half of it being filled in with that red opal. And then we've got just the little pockets of opal hiding all over the place inside of here. We've got some of the regular opal that kind of feeds in from that window. We've got a couple of little windows of that fire opal down here. Just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Really enjoy that one. Then moving on, we've got this broken heart chunk here. And like I said, started off and that whole face there was just crazy, crazy, crazy. So the fact that it came out like this is really awesome. Kind of makes me excited to polish up some more of this stuff in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a little bit longer, kind of a different flow of things. And I know we dealt with some issues with this camera not always working, but that is all sorted out now. So moving forward, we won't have those issues. Um, but if you like this kind of video, if you like this material, please let me know down in the comments below. I've got plenty more of it and some more that we can polish up. And then my absolute favorite piece of the video is this guy right here. I think it just came out so well. That big chunk of opal down in there with all those colors in it. The inclusions that look like clouds. Oh, everything about it is just really, really awesome. I love the shape. Love how that turned out. Really, really amazing piece. But that is going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you guys so much. I know this is a longer video, approaching 30 minutes now, but I appreciate you all hanging out for the entire time if you did. If you're new to the channel, like I said before, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. But until next time, guys, everybody have a wonderful day.